Pop, here's that other radio. Hey, ain't nobody talking. back and it'll take off. I don't know. I got somebody there. That's pretty good. It's got talk back and echo right here. What we can do. 50s. Weather, weather channel. And channel. And the relative humidity 54%. The wind west at 8 miles an hour. That's like Barometric the best. Pressure 29.94. The best mic you can buy. At Point Pleasant, mostly sunny and 83 it's degrees. An $85 Parker's microphone. Cloudy and 75 degrees. Noise canceling. Mostly sunny. 81 static. degrees. Jackson, Kentucky. That's what that's for. Static. Degrees. Flemingsburg, Kentucky. Sunny. That's pretty good. Degrees. Kentucky. So I can talk on it right now, even on the weather channel, and I'll broadcast on channel 19. Mostly 84. Finally, at Columbus, mostly sunny, 76 degrees. Ain't nobody on it. Hey, how about a radio check? Everybody's on it. So I turn it down. Don't need it on, so I just pretty much turn it off. And my big one is right here. It's a bad boy right here. It's a 10 meter radio. Cost 350 bucks, but that's what I'm gonna hook up. Just on the CB, I can talk 45, 50 miles. If I go to the upper band, I can talk 1,000, 1,500. It's a badass radio. Had to buy a license with it, <laughs> but she's badass. I'm gonna hook it up. It'll be right there. See, I mean, look. Compared to the other one, look how much bigger. That's got a internal amp. Well, that one don't. This one does. Boost the watts up. This radio here is 186, and this radio here is probably 85, 82, somewhere in there. It's got the mod kit put in it. It's the new digital, it's like the brand new one, but still, you can't run with that. When you turn that on, that's pointless. I can talk to aircraft on that if I want to. I can get on the upper side bands, lower side bands, all of that. It's a general HP-40. That's what's getting hooked up to here. We got two hookups in there. Go straight to the battery. And I'm going to hook the positive up. And I'm going to run the negative down to the frame. And ground it at the frame instead of right there. Because if you don't, every time you roll these windows up and down, you're going to hear it in your radio. Because you're grounded on a power source for the computer of the truck. And it hears everything. So if you don't ground it to the frame you're going to have noise. Ground your radio to the frame. It's fine. It don't have to be to the battery. The battery's the best, which I think I have enough cord. I can go down through and drop out right over there and come out over top of my battery and ground it right at the battery, but I'm still going to grab my hot right here because you're hot. It doesn't matter. I'm getting straight voltage off the battery, which is exactly what I would get if I run 
the hot cord all the way down. I'm going to get the same thing right here. So I'll run my hot here, but my negative, I'm either going to run down through the dashboard, connect to the battery on the negative side, or I'm going to run down through the dashboard, come out over there, drop down, hook to the frame, anywhere. It doesn't matter. As long as you get a good ground, you're grounded firm, you won't hear none of that shit. So, But trucking 24-7, man. For real, this is what we do.